Welcome back everybody to today's stream. I'm hoping to get a much bigger chunk of the owl done tonight and possibly be about two videos away from finishing. So, uh, this is where we got to so far. And so I'm gonna start trying to map in this little bit. I've still been very apprehensive about it and just having a real good think about what colors I actually wanna put down. And also I've been taking time to study my reference photo. I'm also contemplating a background, just um, like blues and such. Something I have noticed, even though the paper's dry, is that it is bobbling quite a lot and it hasn't flattened out, but that's my fault for using a uh, cheap pay, well, cheap card stock on this. But I'm enjoying the effect. So on we go. So I'm going to start with just uh, reworking this area in the ivory, just to make sure that I've got an active layer underneath. And again, we can play hunt the marker. There we go. Now let's have a look. Now in my last video I did say that my ivory had pretty much gone, and it has. So um, the end of the marker is all fluffed out. And the ink is mostly up in the back of the barrel now so it's a pity but we'll just have to live with it a little bit longer but I'm hoping that by resting it I've got a little bit more life in it there we go, so just enough to cover that area right so spotty dark lots of spotties Dark band there, light band there. Right. So if I go with mm, pick a card, GY2. Let's pick a card. Do I want GY2 or G yeah, GY2 will do. Right. So I'm just gonna map in the darkest area. And then I can bleach in and blend it with the light area. I'm just doing a stippling technique just to make sure that I've got some texture in there. Sorry about the lighting. Um, the sun is setting and my studio I don't have curtains in. I just like being able to get as much light as possible and look out the window and enjoy the view. Enjoy watching all the birdies in the garden. And it means that if the cats are optimist you fucking yell out the window at them. TM3, I think. TM3. These are like a wash over this bit. ivory just to soften some of those areas out. And then BO2 I think we're going to go for. Thank you. 
something that's bare to it, um, um, can you free like um, let's try, no, can you free um, I told you before. Looking for EB1 right now. In every colour but uh, EB1. use EB2 instead. Just push in a few of the darkest areas, just a tiny bit. RB1, it's got a little bit of a reddish tinge to it. Oh my god, <laughs> that was a teeny weeny nib. I haven't got any marker tweezers on me today. I was a pull that out. Um, <laughs> didn't expect that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this whole area just a base, a uh, proper base coat and with the white spots I'm going to use the blender pen to bleach out the colours. I think that's going to be easiest. So I'm going to use the FS7. But I am going to leave a channel where the absolute lightest parts are.
can use the GB2, I think, to map in. Oh, yeah, of course, this one's darker than it looks on my other paper. Oops. That's all right, I can fix that in a bit. go the GY2. I'm going to use a brush again because I just want to get uh, quite a layer on here. some BO2. This time using the finer nib and just putting some key little dark areas. Too peach. Oh, let's go back to the iron free and just soften that lot up. Okay, that can soften that. Right. Now for a little bit of detail. This is going to be a bit more tricky. Right. It goes over, 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 over.
if I'm not following the pattern exactly for a lot of detail here because there is just so much if I was doing it in coloured pencil yeah then I would be dotting every dot but I haven't got the ability to go quite so fine with the markers still give a good shot though. Right. So that's that mapped in. Um, okay, I'm going to bring in a TB2, which is a blue, because it's a little bit down here that is quite bluish. I think this colour will work. So just adding a little bit here and there. So I'm just making sure that I've got that colour continuity. Just a couple of little coloured spots on the chest. And those little coloured spots, I'm actually going to go straight away over with the blender. And that's to drop the harshness of those and just make those settle right back into the paper. So they're almost more like a shadow. Okay, so that's going to have to be it for right now um, and what I'll do is I'll catch up very very soon so I hope this has helped inspire you guys to have a play and get out there and get creative so till next time take care everybody and happy drawing to you all <laughs>